Hey guys and welcome to the Rust Desk Remote Desktop Setup. So guys, firstly, before you do anything, of course, we will need to download the software. So for that, you can just uh, press that, the download button in here. And don't be afraid uh, because of the fact that you're taken to the different website. It's a official website for many, many developers, so it's completely safe to use. And now, guys, uh, just uh, ignore everything except for the assets. Okay, so the assets is where you actually grab the executable that you will install and actually uh, the one that will allow you to launch the software and use it. So guys, what do we need here? So you need to just search for either .exe file or the .msi file. They are completely the same. They do the same thing. They, ju they just install the application for you. So after that, after grabbing it, just launch it. Okay, guys, after launching it, you will be immediately met with this window. So as you can see, it's quite minimalistic, very minimalistic, I would say. So uh, what do we need here? So firstly, guys, if you're um, having someone connecting to you, make sure to start this service. All right, so just press start service. All right, and after that, guys, as you can see, you will have this ready window. So pretty much you can install the server if you want, but it's way more technical. We're not going to get to that in this video. So guys, now what do we need? So let's go to the settings and go through a little quick uh, setup. So firstly, in the security settings, you just unlock. And guys, in here under permissions, it's entirely up to you. So if you, uh, for example, have, um, I don't know, some kind of friend and you, don't, you trust them, but you don't trust them completely, you can um, actually choose manually which things you wish to uh, give them access to. So for example, keyboard and mouse well that's kind of essential if you want to receive any kind of help or have the person control your pc this also is uh applicable to the person that you will connect to okay so this is completely this completely the same for you and for their end so you can enable audio uh, camera for example if you don't want them to have access to certain features they just uh, disable just remove this check mark um and also as you can see you can uh, uh choose which a method you want to use to receive uh, help or uh, basically connect to someone else. So for example, you want to just use a permanent password so that they just use it the same one. You can use this one. You can just uh, insert the password. Then one more time, click OK, and the password will be the same, unchanged. And you know, you can just use the same password every time you connect. Also, as you can see, we have two-factor authentication, which is beautiful if you want to go and enable more uh, secure features and basically uh, the two-factor authentication you can do that uh, also guys you can of course under security also disable or enable uh, different features entirely up to you I'll unlock with pin for example uh, now in terms of network let's not mess with this uh, also guys this is kind of important so this is going to be your uh, display settings where you can actually adjust which kind of quality you will have in your stream so when you connect to someone or someone connects to you it's pretty much going to be on that end that they need to uh, basically set this up uh, so you can choose the image quality anywhere from the good to optimized which will basically ensure that uh, your bitrate and your video quality will be less but you will have more responsiveness right so if you for example are using not so much of a fast connection this is very handy you can also set it to custom. As you can see, the bitrate can be set to anywhere from 10% to 100%. And also you can use, uh, as you can see, up to 120 FPS, which is impressive. Uh, so that's pretty cool if you want to go custom. And also in terms of codecs, well, the most efficient codecs that I personally know of are VP9, AV1 and H265. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Uh, everything else is entirely up to you, whether you want to, uh, for example, uh, uh, choose the original screen size, uh, the one that you're actually seeing, or you can scale it to adaptive so that you can actually see the context on the screen. And everything else, you can log in into your accounts and also use a printer. But that's pretty much it. And now in terms of how to connect, just ask the person you're trying to control uh, their PC for their, as you can see, ID. This is going to be the ID. You just insert it in here, press connect. If they have a password, uh, also insert the password. And guys, you're pretty much done. They just basically accept 
uh, depending of course on the privacy settings, the connection to their computer, uh, then you're connected and then you can just use their device. Guys, pretty simple. Uh, so that's how to set this up. If you enjoyed the video, press like on it. And of course, subscribe to us if you have any questions or maybe you have some kind of request about which video you want to see next. Please leave it in the video, uh, in the video uh, comment section and I will see you soon in the next one.